Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a review of Milani's brand new Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadows. Individually, these retail for $3.99 a piece, and I have an assortment of light neutrals to deep gem tones, and each of those shades will be flashing up on the screen throughout this video. If you couldn't tell from the name, these are supposed to offer up a gel powder consistency that can be worn crease-free, both wet and dry. Personally, all the shades that I have tried, I would say are more of a finely milled powder, no gel texture to speak of, but they do apply very, very smoothly, no grittiness across the board, whether it is a soft matte shade, a shimmery shade, or a metallic shade, the consistency is smooth across the board with these shadows. You can see from a look that I did here using all of, or a few of these shadows without a primer, applied dry, they look beautiful, they're very soft, but even, I believe I was using this purple, uh, Bella Purple in that look, it looks very, very bold in the pan here, but when I put on the eyes, it comes off as this very beautiful, but softer, romantic, almost iridescent purple. You still, if you if you want the bold color you see in the pan, will have to use them wet, which I am today in the look you see here. I really just amped that same look that I did in that picture up using this purple wet, as well as Bella Rouge, this kind of a Rooney color, in addition to that, my outer corner. All in all, I think these shadows are fantastic. The shade range is huge for an individual shadow line, so you have a lot to choose from, both in terms of shade and texture, but also the performance of these is really good. When I wore them alone, without a primer, without wetting them, they didn't crease at all. They still kept their intensity throughout the day, so even when worn alone, they perform excellently, and then they just get that much better when you use them both wet and with a primer or whatever mixing medium you should choose. The one thing I do want to caution you against, though, is that there really isn't a gel texture with these so if you're thinking they're going to be more cream shadow type that sort of thing and you prefer working with that kind of textures don't expect that from these these are really a powder there's nothing gel about them so just something to keep in mind if you have your eye on this collection because of the whole gel powder terminology they use expect more of a powder texture but that doesn't mean they perform any less stellar so thank you guys for watching i hope this review is helpful for you please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye